What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add hearts to our Twitter clone app for Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add these little hearts that we can toggle back and forth for our Twitter clone app with Django. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last few videos, we worked on this like function itself, but we had just sort of a text link there and it didn't look great. In this video, we're going to add this little heart thing. If we click on it to like it, it turns solid. If we unlike it, it turns whatever you want to call that, unfilled, unsolid, whatever. That's what we're going to look at in this video. So we're going to use something called Font Awesome for this. It's just a font that you can use. Uh, there's a free version, we'll use that. You can do this a thousand different ways. You can use fonts, you could use little images, whatever you want to do. In this video, like I said, though, we're going to use Font Awesome. So first off, head over to Google and just type in Font Awesome. And you do actually need an account for this, but it's free to set up an account so you can start your free trial. You just enter your email address, they'll send you a code and you can log in. Once you've done that, you can come over here and sign in. And let me sign in real quick. And you can see I've already got one set up here. But what you're going to want to do is come over here to add new kit. And you can see I've already used my one kit here. So they give you one free thing when you sign up for this. So let's see here. Let me see if I can delete this thing and start over. Yeah, there we go. Let's delete this kit. Okay, so if this is your first time, you're going to probably see something like this. What you want to do is create your first kit or add a new kit. They call them kits. I, I don't know why. What we want is just this script right here. Right, so you could just highlight this, and this is just going to reference a CDN where all the font awesome icons are sitting, and you could pull them right into your app. So you don't have to download or install anything. We could just add this to our base.html file. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this to copy it. And let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our musker slash templates slash base.html file. And up here in our head, we just want to paste that tag, right? So yours is going to look different. You'll have a different little bit of jumbled numbers here at the end of this .js. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this afterwards. So don't try and just copy mine. I'm going to delete it. You'll have to go get your own. And it's free and it's pretty easy to get. We just did all the things we have to do to get it. And that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this. Now we're pretty much done. We can start using fonts from Font Awesome in our code here. So let's come over here to our home.html page and let's come down here to the like section. And this is the section we've been working on in the last few videos. And right now we have it saying unlike or like if we toggle the link. So if you want to come back over here and look at this, we can close out Font Awesome for now. If we come back to our home page here, you can see to like a tweet, it has this like link next to it or unlike, right? So we want to replace these two words with those fonts. So how do we do that? Well, it's super easy. We just come down here and there are two different icons we're going to use, a heart that's filled and a heart that's not filled, right? So a heart that's not filled means we haven't liked the thing yet. We want to click it to like it. So come down here to the like section uh, that's right here. And instead of just typing like here, what we can do is create an eye tag. And let me put this on another line so we can sort of see this here. There we go. And this is just I with a class of, and this is where we put our font awesome class, right? So we want font awesome, FA, and then a space and FA dash heart dash O. So I guess the O, this is the letter O, lowercase O. I think that stands for open heart, maybe. I don't know. So then we can close this, and that's all there is to it. If we save this, head back over here and hit reload, now we have this heart. Right. Very cool. Now you notice it's blue because that's the color of links. Right. So we could change that color too. head back over here. And all we have to do is give this a style with color colon red. So if we save this, head back over here, hit reload. Boom. Now we've got a red heart and it's just that easy. So now we can just come back over here and copy this whole thing. Uh, let me just bop it over again. So it's all on one line and easy to read. And let's just copy this and come up here to the unlike section and get rid of that. And same thing, we'll just paste this thing in here. But instead of heart dash O, this is heart 
and then this is FA dash solid. All right, so there we go. And let's clean this up a little bit, get rid of some of these spaces. Okay, so if we go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload, boom. Now for liked tweets, we have a solid heart. For unliked tweets, we have empty heart, an open heart, whatever that is, a non-filled in heart, right? And if we click on this, boom, that turns unliking, and you can see our like count goes down to one. If we click this to like it, boom, our like count goes back up to two, and we've got now a solid heart. So you're gonna to wanna to do this on your profile page as well. I've already done it, but it's the same exact thing. We just copy this and this over to our profile.html page, and you can see I've already done it here earlier right there. I wanna sort of tab this over so it's easier to read. We can do that. And that's all there is to it. Now, like I said, there's many different ways you could do this. You don't have to use Font Awesome. You can use any kind of icon system that you want. Obviously, just follow the directions for using those sets of icons in your app. Or you could create a little image, right? Just draw a little heart or download a heart image anywhere online. And if you did that, you would probably just stick it in your static slash images directory. And then you would call it with a static tag like you call any other image. So if we come up here to our profile, we see we're calling, let's see, Right here, we're calling a static image, right? This is the default dummy image for profile pictures if a user hasn't uploaded a profile picture. So if we go to profile list, this picture right here, that's that static image. And we can see we're calling it just by calling a Django static image tag, right? It's just the Django tag with static images slash default profile pic. Well, instead of images slash default profile pic, you would have images slash filled in heart png or whatever you named that file and you would just put that where you put the solid heart here if you have an image of an unfilled in heart you would put it right here in this same format so however you want to do it it doesn't really matter i just like using icons because they're super easy maybe they load a little quicker than a bunch of little heart images that have to load i don't know um, but super easy super quick and uh, i think it looks pretty good so head back over here one more time play around with this boom boom Go to the home page, boom, boom, and we're going right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 160,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.